Hello everybody, welcome to my video review. Finally, finally they came in. I know it's hard to see, sorry for the light, but I got my Tila. I got my He-Man. And I did promise I would tell you guys the straight information how these figures compare. So I'm going to let you know right now. And just to show uh, from before, this is my original Skeletor. See, I got him with the uh, Spy Monkey's axe. And I got the new Skeletor from Super 7. It's hard to see in the light, but there is a color tone difference. Um, the original here, he's a little paler. And of course, he's got the bare feet. The Super 7 has the uh, boots. And then... The arms, see, he's got the Cobra Khan arms, as opposed to these ones he has. And again, the tone is different. He is a little brighter. And the one that bothered me a little, uh, let me see if I can get a good shot. This is the original. His helmet, or again, his hood, sorry. And then here, the new one has like a more pulled back helmet. See, it's a little more pulled back than this one. So I don't know if they re-sculpted these or what. Um, minor difference, minor difference. I mean, I'm going to use the other, the Alcala head and all that. But uh, again, there is a difference in the tone. And so I do have an original He-Man here. Uh, lucky Army Knife. There's always that little gap down here. I don't want to cut through. Oh. Oh, really, guys, you put tape on this? Ah, oh. no, 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 no. Ah, oh, the tape. Oh. It's slightly torn. That wasn't the knife. The knife got nowhere near that dent. But oh, I hate that they put the d tape on the, the bat. Got him here in the package. Let me get my He-Man here. Let me see. A little, little slight differences. Okay, just right off the bat. The belt is a little more shaded. In the Super 7. He's got the shades and the bracers, but theirs is slightly darker. Darker. So I guess they went a little more heavy with the shading. Okay. Um, let's compare the classic Sea Man's heads. Okay. Of course, the. Uh, Mattel one has more blondish. He-Man is now a little more dirty blonde. But they did paint the heads a little better. He does have a little more paint to it. Just a quick note. The Barbarian head, it looks like his bangs got to cut a little too short. Um, you can fix it. I don't know if I want to. He seems pretty glued on. But you can take off the... Nah, he's pretty glued on. So, I don't know if they did it on purpose or not, but... Uh, he's got a little long bangs. I mean, sure. So, I got the He-Man out of the package, finally. I'm glad his face matches his body tone with the head now. The other one, I noticed there was a slight difference. And again, my little OCD bothered me on that. So I'm a little more happy. I'll probably keep the vintage head. But um, let me the do new a head. And I'm noticing he's got that red shade the first one had. The head, I don't want to say it's loose. But it like wants to be loose. I mean, it's holding. It's holding together. Uh, let's see here. Okay. 
the uh, biceps are kind of tight elbows elbows are okay the uh, wrists are pretty tight no complaints see turning his arm upside down come on everybody show your muscles show it come on he man show your muscles there um okay his legs are not shaking no they're pretty sturdy and he has the solid ankle the no problems here knees are tight um just to point out this is the original okay just a quick comparison again um the plastic feels a little different this one the original the mattel version is a little more shiny this one's a little more dull and then i had to fix the knees i had to fix everything on him and um yeah the the ankles were really loose on mine but i did the trick with the uh, glue stick and put it in there and all that which you can't do it with the fixed joint ones with the solid piece because once you get that joint out it's impossible to get it back in so he looks pretty solid can't complain i'm not liking the i know oh it's hard to see but he's got the red on his face so let me see it's kind of like okay well i'm trying to decide which head i want i mean that one looks all right let me put the uh savage he-man head and so yeah that that he's got that mean look but man that that hair is bothering me I may get the courage to take it out um, just again to take it out hot glue gun don't boil toys don't put plastic in boiling water it is a bad idea it alters the chemistry of the plastic so no that's a no for savage head but to go back to this again the hair dryer get it nice and toasty or again it's summertime leave them in the car for a couple of hours the plastic becomes really loose especially the the hair the hair is a rubber piece plastic and with a little screwdriver you can kind of scrape it off and then adjust it and then super glue it back on just be careful with that uh i think for now i'm going to keep the vintage head now again the sword is a little warped from packaging again the hair dryer will fix that the axe little warped again oh man the uh the shield i mean the sword is warped warped so my hair dryer is going to get a little busy again the shield's okay so that's that one as i unpackaged it the uh, tila cardboard piece came out a little better it wasn't taped okay here is one of the rarest of the classics here's my vintage one do a quick comparison the uh, plastic feels about the same the color tones are a little different slightly slightly her boots are brownish hers now are a little reddish and again with the packaging they warped again her snake armor helmet's a little warped so i'm gonna have to get the hair dryer again trusty knife i free tila from her packaging but i know let me see if it's a little hard to see but the um the rubber band that was on her 
bent the plastic on this and so I'm gonna have to again hair dry it that's the word for the day um, quick review the arms check elbows okay not tight but they're okay feels like they want to get loose and then uh, we talked about or again those who know there's that issue with the uh, wristbands they were reversed I did this on the original but they were reversed it's easy to fix and it looks like the is it a separate piece oh oh the wristbands are a separate piece that was nice of them so now you can put them however you can rotate them wow that was that's nice of them don't want to make them too loose which again there's ways to fix them but yeah this yeah the wrist guard is a piece now with the original it was a solid it's a solid piece so okay well thank you super seven came through on that one um, the leg joints are there just got white underwear okay it's the uh, a little more reddish I'm gonna pop that off okay the one concern I had with her was her neck peg um, my original broke I had it regular head it was on display it took a nose dive it hit it hit the floor the neck peg broke and it just looks like it wants to break so okay just to show you the little makeup job they did okay on that mm. looking at the neck piece part of me is still kind of worried about that neck piece okay they included a blonde Tila which okay they did an okay job with the face paint that's the thing I give them credit for it looks like they really put effort into making sure the quality of the face paint and so oh, I'm trying to move the neck piece it's very tight very stiff I'm afraid come on there. and so oh I'm afraid got her as a blonde but I'm not crazy about blondes again they did a good job with the face with the face she has it's a little more ginger than the original because hers is a little brownish so let me put it in and I always worry a little bit about it okay yeah it's very stiff but it feels a little more solid this one I always I'm always afraid it's gonna break and this is my third Tila my first one broke I just bought more cuz I'm so paranoid that they'll break and so now it looks good this is a good quality the ankles are there but they're jointed so it's a solid piece looks a little better hmm trying to look at their heads there is a little difference um, again with the super 7 they're slightly duller you know my uh, Mattel Tila is a little bit more shiny 
So this one again came with the heads. She has a dirt slipped out. She has the dirty blonde hair. I wasn't a fan of it. Again, I got I ended up with like six battleground Tilas because for a while there they were like selling them really dirt cheap. And so I don't know how I ended up. And I got one head. I painted it. Gave her a ginger color and it looks better. I don't know why Super 7 didn't step up and do that for us. Small complaint. Small complaint. Okay, that comes with the pike that came with the goddess. It's pretty solid. Seems okay. The cobra staff. Seems okay. Not a problem there. The uh, sword is actually straight. Not too bad. Not too bad. And then the shield. Again, same. More reddish color. It's not really brown. And so, again, I'm going to have to get a little hop. I'm going to have to get a hair dryer to fix that up a bit. But there you are. We got the Ultimates. It's a solid line. It's a winner. If you missed out, I recommend you get on, get in on them. They did a great job. So I'll see you guys around. Catch us on Nerds on the Couch and Council of the First One. Thank you for watching.